What is up guys, Max here, and welcome back to another dank tutorial. Now, I actually figured this out today, and I thought it was cool enough that we needed to share. So, let's just jump right into it. So, have you ever had like an edit, where you've edited your footage? It's, you know, let's watch it. It's this cool video of some stock footage that I recorded over the weekend. How about that? Coney Island, New York City. Way to go. But, your edit is a minute long, and you've chosen the perfect song for your video, but the song is way too long for your video. It's like forever long. And um, you need to cut it down to fit the minute long video. Normally what you would do is you would cut it and maybe like do a, a fade out on the end. And uh, that's kind of boring, honestly, right? Like it just fades out to nothing. Just like that, just, just gone. So I... I found a better way to do it. And normally you would just mix this. You would you would cut it, you would find where it loops and do that. Which can be kind of time consuming and we're video editors, not sound editors. We need to do the sound thing real fast and easy. So, I have figured out a way to automatically mix the song to the exact desired length you need with just a few clicks. Really, really simple. I'm so happy I figured this out. But we do it in Adobe Audition. And if you're using Adobe Premiere, more than likely you can use Adobe Audition because it comes with a suite. So, there's a couple different ways you can open up your favorite song you're gonna use for your video into Audition. You can right click your file and go to Edit Clip in Adobe Audition, completely possible. Or you can just open up Audition and drag your song file into Audition. So, I've already got Audition opened up right here. This is kind of the Window workspace is a uh, classic, just like that. Classic workspace, it works for me. And you're all opened up and ready to go. You drag in your song, which is this song. Boom. And then what we're gonna do is, uh, there's your waveform, click your waveform, and you can see, that is loud, I'm sorry. Um, that is your song, just like we saw. But we're gonna click on multi-track. It'll ask you to create a new multi-track session. Save your file wherever you want, click OK. This happens. Then you can take your song and drag it into this. The sample rate's different. Click OK, it's OK, it'll fix it. And then here's your song. And right now it is three minutes and 50 seconds. And uh, we don't want it to be. We just want it to be one minute long. One minute long song for our video. So. What we're gonna do is click Window and click Properties. Now the Properties panel opens up. Let's dock it somewhere where we can see everything right here. So Properties, all this information, but there's a really cool option that you can click on to make this super easy. You click on your file, make sure it's highlighted, click up Properties and click Enable Remix. It will analyze your clip. It takes however long it takes to analyze clips. Not a big deal. We can just keep talking while this happens. This is great. And we're good. So we've analyzed our clip. Now we just scroll down through the properties. You can kind of ignore all the options because there's, like I said, we're not sound editors. We'd like to be, but we're video editors. So um, our target duration right now is three minutes and 49 seconds. That is the entire length of the song. But what you can do is retype this to say one, Zero, 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 zero. That's one minute. And when you click off, it will analyze your song and remix it down to one minute. Let's turn this volume down a good bit so we can listen to it. And now your song is just a minute long. It's been mixed. How wicked is that? Oh my goodness, it's just a minute long. What? So we can undo that. Maybe we can jump back in. We can make it, you know, an eight minute song for all audition cares. Now, we've got an eight minute song for... Oh my goodness. So, super easy. Undo that. Click this. Let's make it a minute long. We'll export it, put it onto our video file, and make haste, me friends. Minute long. Good to go. Turn the volume back to zero so it's nice and loud when we import it. Then we will go to File, 
export, multi-track mix down, entire session, because we're not working with anything else. We can browse to create a new, let's call it my mix, a save as a MP3 or a WAV file, whatever you prefer. MP3 is fine for this purpose. Click save, click OK. Now we've exported our song. All we gotta do is drag it into our project. You can delete these. Yes. Oh, drag it into our project, which we can find the folder that I threw it into. Yeah, to be honest, this tutorial probably shouldn't have took this long. I was, was not expecting you know, 10 something minutes, but hey, I started talking, so whatever. So my mix, drag this into our project. Because we renamed the file, because I don't want to save over the original file. I still want the song that's three minutes and some change. And boom. Our song is now like a minute long. And it's perfect. Look at that. Hopefully, this saves you a lot of time. So cool little trick to mix your music to the exact length you need it to be. It can be longer, shorter. I have not experimented too much with like how well it performs with really complicated tracks, but most stuff that you're gonna use for video that's gonna be like a stock music track, it's gonna be great. So, thank you guys. And as always, I'm Max. Please like and subscribe, leave a comment, leave a suggestion and I will do my best to cover the requests. I'm getting more than I used to, so I've got a laundry list of uh, video requests to do. We'll get to them. We'll get them done, you know what I mean? Yeah. But, and I'd like to thank you all for subscribing because I have over 500 subscribers for now, which is like, you know, tiny compared to like a lot of YouTubers, but it's not really about the subscriber count to me. It's really just about reaching out to you guys and helping out and just, you know, doing some good for the creative community. So thanks again. I'll catch you guys next time.